So we all want big arms, and for many of us, that's the reason we went to the gym in the first place. But it is very, very easy to do a bunch of biceps curls and actually kill our gains because we're really not going about our arm training the way we need to. That's something that happened to me when I started in the gym. I was stacking arm day after arm day after arm day, and I kept asking myself the same question after months and months of training. Why are my arms not growing? The reason is because I was making three mistakes that I'm gonna teach you not to do, so let's go over them. So the first cardinal sin of arm training, you're training too heavy. And this is something I did when I got started, in large part because I heard this whole idea of progressive overload and I thought every single set of every single exercise, I needed to be going heavier. What we wind up doing is we wind up involving other muscle groups. So our shoulders get involved in our biceps curls. And then those larger muscles are taking away from the focus that we want on our biceps and on our triceps on those muscles. Sometimes, as you get advanced, you're going to want to go a little bit heavier and incorporate a little bit of cheat. But first, we've got to learn the fundamentals. And first, we've got to learn that all of our arm exercises for biceps and triceps are going to start at the elbow. That is our key pivot point. So what we wanna do, we wanna think about training as heavy as we can while focusing on the elbow as the main pivot point. So think about making sure that all your movements, whether you're doing skull crushers or bicep curls or hammer curls, start at the elbow with that as the main pivot point. If you're moving from the hips because we're rocking up with a biceps curl, that's not gonna create the effect you want for your biceps, it's not gonna grow your arms. The second cardinal sin of our arm training, we're not training our major body parts enough and we're over-focusing on training our arms. So when you get in the gym and you want big arms, it gets really, really convenient to stack three to four arm days on each other and to not hit our legs, to not bench press, to not do the other major exercises that we really need to do. Even when I'm going to that heavy biceps curl, even when I'm cheating on that biceps curl, I'm still not gonna approach the loads that I can lift on more major exercises like deadlifts, bench presses, barbell rows, dumbbell rows, and other exercises like that. And those exercises and hitting our entire body Body with that heavy weight is really gonna help grow our arms. So what we wanna do, we can train our arms frequently, but we should not just have arm day after arm day after arm day. It's really not enough total body stimulus to grow. What you wanna do is think about training, say your pushing muscles on one day, so that might be my chest and my triceps, and we're gonna go heavy on that bench press, and we're gonna go heavy on the incline press before we get to our arm training. We'll have two exercises for our arms at the back end of that. Then we'll have our pull day, where we're gonna go very heavy on our rows, we're gonna challenge ourselves with pull-ups, and then we'll have two biceps exercises at the end of our workout. And then we're gonna have a big leg day, and we wanna get those pieces in. We can still train our arms four to five times a week that way, because we're training two triceps exercises on chest day, two biceps exercises on back day, and then we can have an arm day if we want. But we've gotta get that total body stimulus, because that's what's gonna be key to helping our arms grow. And the final mistake of our arm training is just going through all of these arm motions and not appreciating something called time under tension. Essentially, I want you to think about squeezing on every single rep, and if you skip that squeeze, you're not gonna get the most out of your arm training. We want to think about slowing things down and appreciating the negative. That's also going to help us take our other body parts out of play and help us prevent cheating. So what I want you to do on every single rep for your arm training, I want you to think about doing the rep, getting to that peak contraction point of the rep, and squeezing. Try to squeeze the heck out of your biceps or your triceps, whatever the exercise is. Explode the muscle out of your skin. Hold that for a split second, and then think about lowering down for two seconds, keeping the form tight through the rest of your body, don't let that lower down become a rock. By doing that, we're gonna pile up time under tension, which is especially key to arm training because we're working a smaller muscle group. We can't go as heavy, but what we can do is pile up a little bit more time on every single rep with that lighter weight. It's gonna develop the mind-muscle connection you need, and it's gonna make you that much more connected with the motion. Over time, as you increase weight, you're gonna be able to carry that squeeze to that heavier weight. You'll have that discipline, and that's when you're gonna see your arms really explode. So those are the three cardinal sins of arm training, and again, they come from personal experience. I made all of these mistakes early on, and I didn't see my arms grow. But the best part of this is once I got away from those, I was able to make a lot of arm progress. So avoid them now, and I guarantee you, you will see your arms grow.